drinking buddies. This isn't even a filming day for me, but when this landed in my lap, I knew I had to get right to recording. That's right, I got the new 2023 release, Makers Cellar Aged. Let's test it up against a couple unicorns, some other weeded bourbons that are just legendary. Let's go. I'm your drinking buddy. All right, drinking buddies. So I think that this is good to throw up against this William Leroux Weller uh, because I feel like this is a release that's trying to, you know, be a competitor for William Leroux Weller. I mean, this is how William Leroux Weller comes when you get it. This is how this one comes. They're both, uh, you know, approximately 12 years old. They're both barrel proof weeded bourbons, similar mash bills. This one comes out of Maker's Mark. This one comes out of Buffalo Trace. So we have the private, sorry, the Maker's Cellar Aged 115.7 proof, 2023 release. This is last year's, so 2022's uh, William, LaRue, William LaRue Weller 124.7 proof. I'm gonna go ahead and throw in this Old Rip 10 uh, 107 proof. And then this Found North Batch 5 is 73% uh, uh, corn and 27% wheat whiskey. It's 116.2 proof. It is not a bourbon, it's a Canadian whiskey, but since it's weeded and it's a corn whiskey as well, uh, you know, I just figured it was, you know, something cool to be in this lineup. And I feel like prior to today, these are the three best weeders that I own. So will these three be able to be beat this guy? Is this guy gonna be better than them? That, that would be crazy. I would actually be, I'm actually gonna be very surprised if this is the winner. Um, I'm gonna try to, you know, I say this a lot. I'm gonna try not to bottle guess. I'm gonna just try to tell you which one is the best one, rank them, but I'll probably end up bottle guessing because that's who I am. I'm a flawed individual, but I recognize my flaws. Wow. Just wow. That's the type of nose you put your nose in and you just want to live inside it. That's amazing. It's it's very caramel. It's bourbon, vanilla, brown sugar, little cherry. Like figs, a lot of fruit going on. Woo. Oh yeah, um, little nutty thing going on here. Um, wow, sorry, I'm, I'm kind of at a loss for words. That's really good. Um, these are, you know, four. These these three are three of the best whiskeys I own, and I'm throwing one in there that could be up there. So this could be a lot of oohs and ahs and wows. And uh, I hope that you guys can enjoy this. You know, watching me drink a couple of unicorns and one that you could probably still find online. Um, and then one that I think is going to be a pretty limited release, but it makers is not one that gets chased like Buffalo trace. So if you really want to set your sights on this guy, it's going to be a lot more obtainable than these two. It just is. Um, it, it is a high price. It's $150. So keep that in mind. Yeah, that's got some fall spice stuff going on. Caramel, bourbon, vanilla, and a slight cherry thing that I would call, uh, not medicinal cherry, more like, um, like cherry, like licorice can, like cherry uh, red vines. <sighs> Crazy how different the noses are. This one's more bright. This one's more like caramely, like candy bar. And this is just dank. This is like wet wood, old tree stump, cigar notes, leather shoes. Wow. Yeah. Um, special, possibly specialer. I'm not sure, but they're both so good. Um, yeah, there's some great cherry on here too. I might say cherry a lot, but I tend to get cherry off these three and I tend to get cherry off of uh, uh, Maker's Mark. So Kurt, I'm going to say cherry a lot. Also giving me vibes of like a, like a caramel apple like a caramel apple dessert of some kind, something baked, really solid, really good. I'm gonna rinse. Ooh. 
Yes, I'm using a Mothers Against Drunk Driving cup here. Uh, don't drink and drive. Now this is like figs and dates and like dried fruit. Dried cherries, raisins, fruity. Yeah, dark cherry for days. Woo! Man, this is really hard. I feel like that might be the best one so far, but it might just be because it's very smooth and mild on on, on proof. So I think it could be this guy, but I don't know for sure. It's just kind of drinking probably around 107 proof. <sighs> yeah, that's really good. That's really good. Um, oh, sorry, uh, notes. Um, yeah, cherry and uh, uh, brown sugar, a lot of brown sugar, a little oak and... Uh, Really long finish on that. So maybe it isn't the lower proof guy because the finish is still going. Well, some of these, the finish might go on for days. Not literally, but. <sighs> I thought one of these in here I said was really dank. This is like dank on another level. <sighs> this one's like wet basement. This is cigar box. Like tobacco leaf, like um, like dark cherry, a little, and then it turns it a little bit more bright on the end. Like the initial thing is so dank, and then I, I get a little bit of a, a fresh thing on the thin on on it. Well, on the nose, on the end of the nose, I get a little bit of a fresh thing that I would call like apple and honey. Hmm. That's really good. Um, I, at initial thoughts, um, I think this is the weakest one, but not by much, if that makes sense. This is really good, but I think it's the weakest so far. And I think that's just because I'm getting a little bit of an ethanol thing. It's drinking a little hotter than the rest. And you know what? These two are a little hotter, so it could be one of these guys, and that's nothing against it, um, whatever is in here. But... The other one, if this is one of these two, the other one didn't drink that hot. So, something to keep in mind. But yeah, on here, there's a really nice cherry note. There's um, brown sugar and bourbon vanilla for days. Um, little oak presence, but subtle. Really nice finish. Uh, a little thinner on the mouthfeel than, than the others. A little less, uh, you know, a little, little less oak tannins, a little less syrupy viscosity on that one. Still really good, though. Still really good. Um, I'm going to go through these again, and then we will, uh, when we come back, I'll, I'll rank them. Whatever's in glass one is my favorite. I think it's one of these two guys, to be perfectly honest. Um, but I, I, that one's my favorite. My second favorite's the one over here. I know I initially said it was my least favorite, but... I think it was just the proof hitting me because it is. I think this is the William Ru, William Larue Weller, and I think it just drank. Um, uh, it, it was just drinking hot off that first rip, but the more I sipped on it, the more that didn't bother me. First one finished means it's pretty darn good. Um, next up, this one was my third favorite, and I got to be honest, I feel like there's a pretty big. They're all really good, but I feel like there's a pretty big chasm here. Like these three are like exceptional, and this is like really freaking good so like there's a there's a line here i could have gone anyway with these top three to be honest this one's my third favorite i actually think this is the found north which means these two are what i'm hung up on i i can't really decide if i think this is the old rip or this is the makers or this is the old rip and this is the makers so i'm just not going to guess i'm just going to tell you that i think these two are the makers and the <laughs> old rip and tell you that this one's my favorite and this one is technically my least favorite. But if it ends up being the makers, oh well, it's, you know, it's it's really good. Um, I'm, I'm very surprised if I did pick the old Rip 10 over the William Little Weller. So maybe that should tell me it's the makers. I am rambling at this point. Let's look at them. Okay, 
So my third, my least favorite was the old Rip 10. That's kind of crazy. Which I think that means that's the makers. Holy crap. Go hunt this thing. Holy crap. All right. Uh, so my next favorite, this has got to be one of these two guys, but I think it's the Found North. Yep. Found North. Once again, like this is, this is just showing like this is, I like this better than this. Like you guys got to, you guys got to trust me on Found North. I'm not hyping this. They sent me this bottle for free. I will freely admit that. But it's so good. I wouldn't be hyping it all the time if it wasn't amazing. If I didn't like this, it'd be sitting back on there on the shelf, on one of the bottom shelves, and I wouldn't be talking about it all the time. Yeah. Anyway, I've been called a shill for Found North. I'm not a shill for Found North. I'm a shill for great whiskey, and this is great whiskey. I'm also talking about Buffalo Trace and Russell's all the time, and they're never going to send me anything. Uh, anyway, next up. Uh, so that was the Found North. And so our favorite was, yep, our favorite was the freaking Makers, man. That is, guys, you might want to go hunting for this one. Well, drinking buddies, if you liked this video, uh, please consider liking uh, and subscribing. Maybe consider sharing it with someone that you know likes whiskey. If you hated the video, share it with one of your enemies. If you're a super fan, we have a link in the description below to become a channel member. Some per nice perks with that. Um, you know, I'm really close with all my channel members, and uh, it's, it's, it's pretty cool uh, to be part of our community. Anyway, drinking buddies, thank you so much for watching. See you on the next one.